poker vlog. I think I'm on number five right now. Five. Yo, guess where I am. Guess where the fuck I am. I'll give you a clue. Somewhere in the United States. Fucking like middle. Write your comments what you think. Fucking Iowa. There's a tournament in Prairie Metals Casino. And uh, I just jumped off the flight on a fucking... I didn't want to video any of the JFK flight because, uh, I mean, it's a nightmare. Why would I put you guys through that shit? I mean, this vlog's already a nightmare, but why make it more of a nightmare? Oh, no, it's a nightmare. So anyway, just got off my flight. The guy next to me, fucking, he was the juggernaut. I'm the juggernaut, bitch! Huge guy. The lady behind me, she was telling her story. I knew everyone about her family, her uncle. You don't want to know about her uncle. Damn, that uncle. So-and-so got a surgery. Bobby was hanging out with Christine. Can you believe Jeffrey didn't propose yet? Mikey's getting a, you know, operation. Frankie's getting a new job and it's going to be great pay. I mean, shut the hell up. That's what I was thinking the whole time. And then the, the guy in front of me, yo, he looked like Pee Wee Herman. Straight up, Pee Wee Herman. And then, uh, so it was like a transfer. I get on a, another flight. Pee Wee Herman is sitting on the seat across from me on this other flight. So I got to talk to Pee Wee for a little bit. He was all right. He was all right. Anyway, now I'm in this fucking whip. And I'm about to head up to the casino. And uh, I'm going to take a nap because I fucking got zero sleep because I had to go to work. Fuck. Had to go to work before I came on this trip. Um, so I really didn't get that much sleep. So I'm going to go to the casino. I'm going to fucking do the shit with the room with the key. Throw my bags in there. Take a nap. And then fucking maybe I'll do some one too. And I'm, I'm going to do a tournament. So yeah, let's fucking do some driving right now. Weeds in the country. Yo, what is that shit? Fucking prison? Oh shit, that's... That shit says General Mills. They got this place called Bebop's fucking burger joint. So I figure maybe I can eat there once, you know, because, uh... I guess that's all they do is like make cows or grow cows or whatever. So maybe they have really good, healthy, fresh fucking dead cow meat. Let's fucking give it a whirl. Yo, I just made the drive um, from the shit to where I'm at now. The, the casino, I'm in the parking lot. Yo, 10 minutes into the road trip, I blew a red light. I did it. I did it. Not my fault. Maybe it is a little bit. I fucking brought my New York uh, City style of driving here to Iowa, rural Iowa. But it's not my fault. What happened was, you know, they had this fucking like the traffic light, the red, green, and fucking uh, yellow shit. And it was the yellow was just blinking. So I'm like, oh, it's like a fucking in New York, that's like a yield or some shit. Like, make sure it's clear, everything's cool, and then you go. But anyway, so it was blinking. But I guess here that means, like, slow the fuck down. Because then that shit turned red. But I was already, like, mid-fucking... I had momentum. So I just kept going. Damn! game um i was playing for like maybe three or four hours and uh i was down like maybe hundred and something dollars and then the last couple of hands 
I just really drove the stack up, so I'm um, I'm up ninety four dollars. Hey, a win's a win. So tomorrow's the tournament, and uh, I gotta get some fucking sleep. I'm I'm jet lagged and I'm tired, I'm exhausted, and I need to be on my A game for tomorrow. So let's do it. Yo, day of the tournament. Wish me luck. <laughs> break had a pretty big double up pocket aces versus kings aces held up second break I'm about 35,000 in tournament chips I gotta uh, I gotta get some good hands here. Wish me luck. I'm on dinner break, 27K. 28 people left, 150 entered. Cheeseburger time. And one of these bad boys. Santino, what do you think? Yo, the fucking, um, the room keys. They're like little little playing cards, which is it's like a little unique, you know, like a little I like that little touch, you know, the little touch of tender touch. That little Michael Jackson touch. Hey <laughs> Yo listen, listen, I got some good news. Uh, I just got out of the tournament and uh, 150 people entered. A little to the Next thing you know, I flopped a set of something. Something else happened. 15th place. Shit. Uh, it was eight hours that I was in there for. Um, I cashed out. And uh, there's my name. And uh, the 15th place. Yo, I also forgot to mention, and this is really important, the view from this room, it's quite magnificent. I've never seen something as, as beautiful and as amazing as this. And I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys the view that I've been gazing upon <clears throat> for the past day and a half so um well without further ado what is that the fuck is that huh some some air conditioning unit no mountains no goats no fucking cows no i get i get some of that that's what i get right all day man all day i've been looking at that fucking thing so the tournament was uh, really good, successful, I believe. I mean, anytime you make money, it's successful. Um, the blind structure I wasn't a big fan of. I felt like everything escalated really quick. By the second round, they were, they were already starting with antis. I mean, I could tell that this tournament was designed to get people out quick. Top 15 got paid. I almost was out on the bubble in 16th place, but... Um, one gentleman across from me, he went all in. The guy next to him, which was like seat, I'd say eight went all in, seat eight went all in, seat nine went all in, and then it folded, it came to me. I had like one big blind left, so I folded it, and then it folded all the way around to another guy in like seat five or something like that, and he went all in, and they all flipped the cards over. One guy had pocket jacks, the other guy had pocket aces, and the other guy had pocket queens. So, of course, the, the pocket aces held up. And uh, he, the one gentleman knocked out, you know, player number 16, making me player number 15. And maybe a couple of hands later, I was out in 15th place. 
I grinded it out for eight hours. And um, I could surprisingly go for about another four hours. So I feel really confident with my with my game. Then tomorrow I leave back for New York. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is really cool. Secret coming up. Um, I'll tell you guys next vlog, but it's something that is good news for, for the vlog. And it's good news for me. It'll be good news for you guys. You know, I'm working on some shit. Working on some shit. And uh, so you guys will know next vlog. I plan on doing a Foxwoods thing June 11th. Uh, it's a satellite for the, the WSOP main event. Yo, I'm making good on my promise to get this Bebop's uh, burger. I'll let you know how it is. Wow, some good shit here. Now, I wanted to come here because of this commercial. Where is the best place in Des Moines to get a burger, fries, and a chocolate shake? Bebop's big tasty burgers, hot crispy fries, and great chocolate chips. So why do you come to Bebop's? The burgers are fresh, and fast, and it tastes great. I like some pork fritters and chicken sandwiches. Where is the best place in Des Moines to get a burger, fries, and a chocolate chip? There's only one place we go. Bebop's. Bebop's, voted best of Des Moines for 13 straight years by the readers of City View. Bebop's, better than good. That means it's just, it's just really good shit. Bebop's, all of the real gourmet taste without the gourmet price. Voted best of Des Moines by the readers of City View Magazine for the past 21 years. So hop in your car and get on down here to Bebop's. Bebop's, there's one close to you. 21 years? Damn. Yo, Bebop, son. Yo, that shit was really good. I almost wanted to get another burger, but, I mean, I'm already a fat fuck. I want to go, like, double, double fat, fat fuck status, you know? Big O's tires. Oh, boy. <laughs> Forget the endo. I, I work for a reputable company, and... The gin and juice, maybe just the juice. You know what I'm saying? Lay back with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. I just passed the National Balloon Museum. Hey, people get bored out here. That's all I could say. Yo, I'm standing in a human uh, fucking microwave. Yo, if you like my videos, hit the like button. Subscribe, comment, tell your friends about the shits. See you next time.